Hey everyone, this is Jean. So as much as I liked to paper piece and put all the little layers together, sometimes I just want to get the card out fast. Now, especially for the kids, you know, they don't really appreciate the time and the effort that I put in when I, you know, assemble and put together all the little layers together to make a card. And they are still super excited when they get a printed version, so why not? And so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a printed card with your Silhouette Studio program. And by the way, the card is really cute. So if you're ready, let's start. So since I'm going to be printing on a letter size cardstock, I am just going to set the page to letter. And also the card is going to be your typical standard A2 size. So I'm just going to use the rectangle tool to draw a A2 size rectangle. In, that, in other words, the dimensions will be about 4.25 by 5.5. And I'll click enter. And next I'm going to be drawing a rounded rectangle with the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to set this one to about three and a half by four and a half inches. I will also be filling it with a pattern paper from the new Nancy Kubo a Mummy and Me collection. I'm going to scale the pattern so that I don't see all the other pretty things, the pretty designs around it because I really just want the polka dots or in other words scale the pattern to 220% and I'm going to also bring in this doll because that is going to be my focal image so I need to make a trace of it let's just reduce the size to make it easier to trace no you know what let's just have it okay th there we go now I could actually size it down and use the image as is but I want it to stand out and to do that I'm going to create an offset. Now the thing is I can't make an offset of this image because when I do that it's just going to draw a square or a little you know rectangle thingy around it. I need to make a trace of it because the offset can only be cre be created from the the cut lines from the trace. So let's just make a quick trace of it. I'm going to select the trace area uncheck high pass filter and pump the threshold all the way to 100% and trace the outer edge. So now there is a trace line. I'm going to select the trace line and let's see, okay. Click offset and I'm going to set the offset distance to about 0 0.125 and click apply. So now this offset is transparent so that if I should bring it over to the card it will show the blue polka dotted background. So I'm going to fill it with white and bring it to the back. So now it's it looks pretty. I'm going to turn the red lines off and do a control G to group all the different layers together. I'm going to bring it over here and it's too big to fit on my card. So let's just resize it again, resize it to about hmm, four inches tall. And we need to make sure that we lock the aspect ratio so that the width will be reduced accordingly, like so. So now let's just place everything together and it looks good, but I want it to look even cuter. So let's just change the line style of the rounded rectangle to a dash line. And I'm going to increase the line thickness to two and 
2.5 and change the line color as well to the same um, I want it to match the brown outline of the doll so what I just did was to use the color picker and um, bring it over to where the the outline is and just click on it and and the um, the line color has changed okay and one more thing I'm just going to center everything so that it looks neat and do a control G to group everything together all right so now I could fit to to a page so I'm just going to position it right to the edge of the cardstock right to the edge of the paper let's just make another copy control C A V and align the two so that they are aligned on on the top edge and we will zoom in to have a better look now because there is um, there is nothing that is supposed to be printed there is a white border on the card I could I could bring I could position the card right to the edge and pass the margin and I really do want you know I can fit to to a to a page so why not And I just did a control A and I'm going to move it down a little so that it is right to the edge. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Let's just zoom out. Now as always, before we print, always do a print preview. So I'm going to print it out now, do a preview, and if it looks right, I could just load my cardstock. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's just zoom in, 100% zoom in and everything looks great. And I could load my cardstock into my printer and start printing. And once it has finished printing, I'm just going to trim this with my paper trimmer. So in other words, for this project, I don't even need to cut with my Cameo because it's just a printed card. Uh, I'm just going to trim this with my paper trimmer. And um, if I like, I could even just round a corner with my paper um, corner chomper thingy. All right. So... I'm not going to print now, so let's just cancel this. So basically that's it. Now if you want to see photos, more photos of this card, please go to my blog under cherrytree.com. Now you will find many card ideas and project ideas, tips and tutorials um, over there as well. So again, it is under a cherrytree.com. And if you prefer to use Facebook, I am there as well. Just look for under a cherry tree. All right. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.